Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing amazing as always and it's me Joe as always and today I want to talk about the brand new Borderlands movie. I just came back from the movie theater and I got some thoughts. Some stuff was good about this movie but most of it was sort of mid and some of it was actually bad almost like insulting in a way. So you guys know that I like horror movies, right? But I also do like superhero movies. And when I saw the trailer for Borderlands, it really reminded me of, you know, first of all, Suicide Squad from 2021 from James Gunn, and then other stuff from James Gunn. The Guardians of the Galaxy trilogy, obviously, right? It had that vibe, and I really enjoyed the trailers. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of the Borderlands franchise when it comes to the games, I honestly haven't played any of those games, so I don't really know uh, what to say about the lore, because, you know, I obviously read some stuff about, you know, people saying that the lore isn't really accurate in the movie, you know, based on the trailers, so, uh, you know, but I can't really judge that, because I'm not the biggest fan of the Borderlands video games, right? I haven't played anything Borderlands, so, you know... Uh, I'm just gonna talk about what I think of the movie as a person that, again, haven't played any of those games. So, this movie, yes, it's essentially Guardians of the Galaxy, but it's not as good as Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, I mean, it stars, you know, Ariana Greenblatt, uh, Jamie Lee Curtis, Kevin Hart, Kate Blanchett as sort of the main characters, you know, and they are great, but... Uh, it, Again, I've read that, you know, Kevin Hart, you know, just doesn't fit, uh, you know, the role of Roland, and, uh, you know, they're all just, like, they're great, but they don't seem to be that great together, you know, they don't work that great together. Like, as individual characters, they work fine, but when they're all just together, and, you know, they're trying to sort of, like, just talk to each other, it just doesn't come off, like, genuine, you know? I, it, again, it works fine, but, uh, you know, sometimes it just felt a little off. Um, and also, what I noticed is that they are, you know, a bit on the older side, the characters. You know, Cable and Chad, Jamie Lee Curtis, their characters are sort of older, but it doesn't sort of reflect what they can do. Like, they do some crazy stuff in the movie, even though they are, you know, a bit older. So, I thought that was a little weird, you know, at times, even though I love Jamie Lee Curtis so much, she's, you know, a scream queen, she's from Halloween, I love her so much, but, you know, sometimes her scenes felt a little weird. Kevin Hart is great in the movie, but again, I've read some stuff about him not being ideal for the role. I think the best uh, member of this cast is Ariana Gleenblatt. I thought that she was a teeny tiny. As Tiny Tina, I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought that she was actually really good as Tiny Tina. I thought that, you know, she was pretty decent and she was the best part, uh, you know, of the movie when it comes to the characters, at least. Now, when it comes to, like, the bad stuff about this movie, I really do have to wonder what happened with the budget. Because this movie seems really cheap, you know? Uh, the locations, they don't, like, the practical stuff, it doesn't look really good, and also the CGI at times, it's really bad, you know, it's, like, actually sort of, like, you know, you're looking at it, and it seems like it's a CGI from, like, an early 2000s movies, you know, it's sometimes that bad. It just seems cheap, and I don't know if it actually was cheap, you know, I haven't looked into the budget of this movie, but again, at times, it really feels pretty cheap, so, uh, you know, that wasn't, you know, really a great aspect of the movie, even though, yes, some, like, areas, you know, some sets look fine, but some stuff just looks really bad, you know? Also, this movie was made by, or directed by, Eli Roth, a horror director, you know, a guy that made the Hostel movies, he also made last year's Thanksgiving. Um, it's weird that he made this, and apparently they made some reshoots without him, like a lot of it. So this movie at times feels like it's just trying to be Guardians of the Galaxy so hard, you know, that it sort of comes off as, you know, not really genuine, but sort of it's trying to be a copy of something better, 
but it sort of can achieve those levels of greatness because I think that the Guardians of the Galaxy trilogy is pretty awesome. So yeah, I I guess I sort of feel mixed about Borderlands. I enjoyed it for what it was, especially again because I really do like uh, Guardians of the Galaxy and so I enjoyed that aspect of the movie, that sort of adventure aspect. But there's a lot of just weird stuff. The chemistry just doesn't really work at times. The CGI and the sets, they just look weirdly cheap at times. And some of the dialogue is just a little off. So yeah, this is a mixed bag. Again, I sort of enjoyed it, but again, I'm not, you know, a big fan of Borderlands, so I don't know uh, how much they fucked up the lore. So you know, I can't tell, so if you are, like, you know, a big Borderlands fan, you might hate this. Uh, I thought that it was fine, but it had some major, major issues. So yeah, guys, this is basically my quick review of the Borderlands movie, and that's pretty much it. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I'll see you next time. Take care, and bye.